Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to cover scripting. Uh, what is scripting? Well, scripting uh, can be found up in the utilities, and we'll grab the script tool. Scripting allows us to run a simulation, uh, and analyze the results, pass variables, change parameters of the simulation, essentially, uh, in an automatic fashion. So we can write a little program that will run through a whole different simulation scenarios for us, and if we wanted to be uh, fancy about it, we could even uh, manipulate the simulation variables and parameters based on previous simulation results. So uh, this is a simple uh, example I have here. I've just got a buck converter. You can see that I've defined the inductor here, and I'll add a comment inductor. And uh, we've got the capacitor value, and I've also got the switching speed defined um, and what these are going to allow us to do is when we run the simulation so buck.psim it's going to pass in these uh, parameters from above here these variables and they're going to take over what's in here and we're going to save the output file to scriptvid.smv and all we need to do to run this is go run and then run script and we can see that a, uh, several elements got so we're defining the capacitor the output g1 is the output array uh, so time inductor voltage vn uh, modulation waveform are all there and we can go and open up that output file so we go open and then script vid is what it's the output was called and we can look at the results here so not really too much different from running a parameter file and a regular simulation at this point um, this simulate function, there's a lot of variables that we can add into the simulate function. I won't get into them in this tutorial video. You can look at them up in the tutorial here. So tutorials and then how to use script functions is the one. And there's all sorts of information that you can read about uh, in here. Uh, there's a lot of content that could be covered in a video, but um, I'll just try and do an introduction at this point. So please have a look into the tutorial uh, the PDF tutorial that comes with version 11 PSIM, and uh, there's a lot of information there. So um, that was a really simple simulation. Let's uh, you know run it again and and maybe you know add some different parameters on. So I'm just going to copy everything from the top there, and we'll paste it down. And let's change the inductor. Let's go 100 micro. Let's go um, you know. 200 micro on the cap and let's drop the switching speed down to say you know um, 100 k hertz and then we'll go script vid and we'll save it something else 100 k and then uh, we should be ready to go again so run run script it's going to run both those simulations and then we can open up uh, let's just close that file down so we've got the two so there's the 250k simulation. We can also file open the 100k simulation. Let's see what that looks like. And you know we could still merge these files. So merge and grab the original one. And uh, let's put them both on the same thing. And so there's the two sets of simulations. Now, wouldn't it be handy if we could do the manipulation in the script so that they both end up in the same file? Well, we can do that as well. So to do that, all we need to do is we'll declare an array up at the top here, um, g2 equals array, and we'll give it three columns, the first column being time, the second column being uh, inductor from the first simulation, and the second column being the inductor waveform from the last simulation. And we'll go and down here, and we'll go G2, we'll give it the first um, spot, we'll give G1 the first one. So this is copy time uh, array. And then the next one will go G2 uh, at one, equals g1 at 1 and we'll go copy inductor and then uh, down at the bottom here we'll go g2 at column 2 equals g1 of 1 again and this is copying the inductor again copy inductor 
so we can also set the curve name of, of the of the array. So we can go set curve name, and that is going to be of G2. Uh, set curve name G2, and we want column 1, and we'll go run 1, and give it a string. And then we can also do that at the bottom here, copy G2, 2, and we can call this run 2. And then we can save G2, and we can go graph right. Uh, we'll save it back to my temp folder, C temp, and we'll call this um, combine, combine dot SMB, and we're saving the G2 array, and now we're ready to go again, and we're going to save, um, so we're going to run through, it's going to copy these over, uh, and then rewrite the names, and then we'll get a new sim result out. So we'll run script, we can see everything fires up there, and we can go and open up the combined results here. Open, we see run one and run two, the, the things we named, and now we have the same results showing up in the same simulation. So this, uh, obviously we could just keep on going, copying and pasting things if we really wanted to. We could also uh, execute this as part of a loop. So what we're going to do now is use a while loop to run the simulation uh, three times. So uh, I've declared a variable runs equals three, an index of uh, equal to zero. And so while i is less than runs, we're going to loop the simulation. And essentially, I've just set up a, an easy manipulation of the inductor and capacitor here so that we're just changing these around. We're saving the output of each simulation. So there's this string we're building here, script out plus i, so we'll index it. And then uh, with the SMV extension, so output, uh, so file plus output, and then the simulation length, and then G1 is the, is the array of, of, of results from each simulation. So if the simulation is the first time through, we'll grab that time column. So that's what's happening here. Grab time column, time info, and uh, then we're just saving the results, and we'll amalgamate the uh, the results in the array G2, and then we'll increment and keep going through, and then we'll write the combined results into this simulation. So we'll go run, and then run script, and we can see that we did each each. We can turn this information off as well, so we don't get this display all the time. But we're we're getting each simulation run through, and then we can go and look at the results now. And we can see that we've got script, the three script outs from each simulation run and the combined results there. We'll open that up and we can see the three currents now with the various um, various parameters that we had here. Um, what else can we do? We could also uh, analyze the waveforms. So if you go into the examples here, open, uh, yeah, sure we can save that. And we'll go to my examples folder grab the scripts, and we can look at this one, for example. This script is actually doing very similar things to what we just did, but it's also analyzing to find the ripple current. So if we run this script, what we'll see happen with this one is it's running through a, a number of simulations, and then it's determining what the uh, ripple current is and we can see that the output of that is getting saved to a file um, right here, a text file. So if we go open that text file, we can see that this the ripple of each simulation has been calculated, and we can also see the, so we're, we're defined the uh, ripple uh, current here, peak to peak. We've also got the inductance value that that, that occurred at. So that's what this uh, script is doing, and there's many other script examples that you can look at in here. So doing AC sweeps, string operations, and plots, and both plots, and all that sort of stuff is in here. So have a look through these. I'll try and make some more tutorial videos that go through all this information. But um, yeah, just trying to point you to, in the right direction to start with, and, and check back for more videos dealing with scripting. So uh, with this, uh, with this, remember what we did um, is we had, uh, essentially, we're able to run 
um, the simulate from inside of uh, loops and, and pass variables down into the simulation and look at, at amalgamating results and, and doing all sorts of interesting things. So the, the language here is a C variant and uh, there's this tutorial here which goes through all of the functions that you can use. Uh, you can get into some relatively complex stuff and uh, if you have any questions or need further support, please uh, drop us a line at the uh, support email or in the comments below. We can help you out there as well. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial video. Um, I hope you can get into some interesting scripting and make use of this functionality and to improve your workflow. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, check back for more tutorial videos.